You already know that plate tectonics can move in vertical and horizontal directions. Let's consider horizontal movements and their consequences in detail. There are three types of horizontal movements. The collision of continental plates, the collision of continental and oceanic plates, and cleavage. When two tectonic plates collide, their edges fold into folds, as a result of which mountains are formed. For example, the Himalayas arose at the junction of the Eurasian and Indo-Australian plates. When tectonic and oceanic plates collide, the oceanic plate sinks into the mantle. The consequence of such a collision will be the formation of oceanic trenches. And when the more powerful tectonic plate creeps up on the oceanic one, mountains arise on the continent. This is how the Peru-Chile Trench in the Pacific Ocean and the Andes Mountain formed as a result of the conversions of the Nazca and South American plates. In places where lithospheric plates diverge, deep gorges or rifts are formed. Mantle substances pour out of them and solidifying forms underwater mountains in the oceans. Thus, as a result of the divergence of the South American and African plates, the South Atlantic Ridge was formed. Now you know that as a result of the horizontal movements of the plate tectonics, the continents also move. As a result of these movements, the main landforms of the planet arise.